I'm Donna Jones, and this is Be You Say Bye. And I'm going to say to everyone, come empty when you are going before the Lord. Just be empty. Don't try to impress him. Uh, you know how we, in, uh, excuse me, it's going to be cold today. <laughs> and I'm acting like it. Okay, thank you. Excuse me. But um, we, we, we must come to him empty because <clears throat> he already knows everything. And again, I want to lift up every man, woman, boy, and girl that's on this line. And I want you to know that it's all about Jesus. It's not about me. I just want to do the, um, I want to acknowledge him. And then as I acknowledge him, if you want to just copy off of me, you, you, you can tape it and, and just say, you know, Father, you know, come into my life. Father, I thank you for being in my life. Uh, this is be you say bye. And, and I'm so proud that God gave me this. I'm so happy that he gave this to me because, oh my God, I mean, you know, I go through issues and but all I do is I just turn around in the <laughs> turn from my wicked ways and 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 say, Lord, I repent, I repent, I'm sorry. And that's all we have to do. Don't, 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 don't go on guilt trips. Don't, don't, don't beat yourself up because it's not worth it when he's already forgiven you. And so I'm just so grateful that he is a magnificent God. He's not like us humans. We pick and choose who we want to forgive. We pick and choose who we want to hear from. We pick and choose uh, where we're going to go. We don't ask God. We don't ask the Holy Spirit. We, 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 we think we got it going on, but we really don't. And that's how come it's so, the, the world is so messed up only because we don't do, we don't get into the word of God, read it and listen to what he's telling us to do. And so that's how come we go wrong so many times. And, and, and here was a, a statement here and it said, uh, think, you know how people say, I don't feel good. I got anxiety. I got a headache. Well, you know, God is telling us if you get into the word of God, you get into the word and you take his medicine, not the worldly medicine, but you take his medicine. And, and, and he says, uh, my son, attend to my words, incline thy ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thy eyes. See, 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 see. He said, don't let his word depart from our eyes. Uh, we have a listening ear, but all the time we not. <laughs> I, well, I, I, well I, I need to stop saying we and say Donna, because a lot of times where it says, let them not depart from thy eyes. And then before that, it says, my son, my daughter, um, attend to my words, incline thy ear unto my sayings. And, and when we want to do right, we do wrong. And uh, when we do wrong, then we want to, you know, boo hoo and cry. We, we, we only only because we're not doing what he said. And, 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 and this is in Proverbs 4, 20 through 22. We don't want to do what God says. And so we are a hot mess. <laughs> we just a hot mess. I, I, I look around and, 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 and uh, things are going on in the world. Uh, even today, and I know this is not going to be seen today, but I wish it was seen today because from four to seven, uh, Restoration Urban Ministries is having, I 
Light in the Darkness rally today at four to seven. And we, we some things we, we need to get, you know, we don't like to come together anymore like it used to be. You know, the, we'd all get in circles. We'd go all, you know, not so much as March, but we would, we just came together, you know, in the church. The Bible says, you know, uh, we're supposed to go to church and we don't want to go to church. And I do believe that when we don't want to obey the word, we don't want to do the word, we don't want to say the word, this brings sickness on us. And 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 today, I just want you to know, I, I just want you to read uh, Proverbs 4, 20 and 22. Uh, I want to finish that because it says, I got, I got as far as um, saying, and I know that I'm, 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 I'm going to going through different scenarios, but four to seven today at West Side Park, and and then I'm gonna get back to my scripture. Is an event that there that Restoration Urban Ministries is having, and it said here. Our day-to-day -day operation, a, a transitional housing. Y'all know about Restoration Urban Ministries. Food pantry, job creation, counseling, and referrals. Restoration is having this event, and because we do this event, it brings us together. And, and then it goes with Matthew 25, 35 to 36. There are people out there, homeless people. And yes, the homeless people, uh, they come in, they have issues just like we do. We, and we have issues just like they have issues. But that's one thing that I do know that God told us to stand, stand on his word you know, uh, take God's medicine and not the world medicine. And that's how come we, so the, those that take God's medicine, you notice that they, they are happy, you know, they, you know, they don't have no pain. They uh, uh, go about smiling and go about helping people. Uh, I thank God for uh, my, my son-in-law that he goes out and and he he gives blankets out, he gives food out, and and I'm so proud of him. And and my and my daughter, I'm so proud. I'm so proud that my husband is a man of God. I'm so proud that I'm a woman of God, and my children know God, and we assemble ourselves in the sanctuary. That's what God told us to do. And nobody wants to go into this, this a sanctuary. Nobody wants to go and be together and 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 give somebody a hug or a hand, you know, a handshake or thick, because I know the pandemic is out there. But you know, but God, that's all I'm gonna say. But God, oh, He's everything that we need. He's everything. I mean, it tells us. Wear your mask. So don't, I mean, come on now. Wear, put your mask on. And, and uh, I will say to people, get your, your shots. Get your booster. The babies, 5 to 12. If they can do it, mama and daddy can do it. If they can do it, the aunts and the uncles can do it. If they can do it, the cousins can do it. I'm telling you, we just, sometimes we have to line up so that death don't come to people. And, and and when the the pandemic don't have, uh, it, it's something we can't see. We can't see it. We don't see it attacking us, but we see our family leaving. We see our family dying. We see our family are sick. We see our family in the hospital. And that should not be if we were to come together and pray and pray about binding and rebuking and cursing this pandemic to the root. 
that it go back to hell. I'm, I'm just telling y'all. But let me let me finish. Take God's medicine. Because God's medicine is better than anything. And he told us, he said, um, depart. I'm sorry. Let me get this right. Let me get it right. My son, my daughter, attend to my words. Incline thy ear unto my sayings. Put your ear where you can hear. <laughs> I like that one. Let them not depart from thy eyes. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. For they, for they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh. So I'm telling you, if we could uh, incline ourselves to the word of God, open up the word of God, find out what you, whatever you're going through, open up the Bible and look, look it up, look it up, look it up. I mean, there's a lot of things, you know, some people uh, want to talk to God about money. Some people want to talk to God about clothes. Some people want to talk about God that because they're hungry. Some people want to talk about God because they need fresh water. Some people want to talk about God because they, they don't have a place to stay. Some people want to talk about God because they need rent money. Some people want to talk to God, uh, you know, about help, help me, help me, help me, show me how to take care of my children. And, and a lot of times, we we don't have we don't do anything we don't have uh the well okay how can i say it that 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 energy to go and seek seek ye the kingdom of god seek it you know we 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 want to cry about it but all those issues all all you have to do is one by one take it to god Take it to God. It says in the original Hebrews, this scripture literally says that God's word is medicine to your flesh. And let me tell you, I mean, we're around people. We don't know what they got. We don't, they, they talking without their mask. They spitting and their spit is coming across. Okay, y'all can stop laughing. Coming across the room and and but he, he 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 told us he said god's word is medicine to no no to, to our flesh king james version bible substitutes the word medicine for the word health his word is health to us, to our bones, to our heart, to, to, to and, and while you out there and I'm lifting you up, you have to do, I mean, I'm only reading you the word. I'm not telling you what to do. I, and, and the word works if you work it. So I'm not telling you what to do. You don't have to do anything I say. This is be you. Be you, say bye. Be you, kick it to the curb. Be you. You, you got to take on some things yourself because I can't do it for you. Can't nobody do it for you. You got to do it for yourself with the help of God. And that's what's going on around this world. Nobody, everybody wants to borrow something. They got something smart to say. See, that ain't God. God, ain't, the, the God don't mistreat us. God don't uh, give us words that we don't understand because he going to give us all kind of versions, the New Testament, the Old Testament. He going to give us King James. He, he, he going to give us all kinds of wisdom. But and you can't receive if you ain't looking. See, what we do is we go out there in the streets and we want to do things in the street. But sweetheart, young man, 
That's not for you. And it's wonderful to know that the things that are for you is in the Bible. I just hear uh, Proverbs 4, 20, 20 through 22. This is for every man, woman, boy, and girl. I'm not reading you something that's just for a pick. Oh, look, look, I'm, I'm getting excited. Let me pat my, my mouth. Okay, I got excited, but that was Holy Ghost spit. Okay, anyway, at, but it's for you to see for yourself. And, and you can have abundance. You can have whatever the word says you can have. Don't, don't stop just listening to me. Get in there and dig out what you need. Because everybody who's got a family, you don't even have to have a family. It could just be you by yourself. And because you by yourself, and if you can't see good, you can't hear good, go get, get take your cell phone. And I say this all the time, get your cell phone and tell somebody to show you how to put the audible Bible on your cell phone so that you can learn the, the, the all kinds of, kinds of uh, of God's word. He says here, there is a King James. And it says in King James, uh, the Virgin Bible substitutes the word medicine for the word health. Now think what the, what, now think this, what if someone invented a medication that could cure, well, listen to this, anything wrong with the human body. He'd be rich overnight. People would take that medicine diligently to make sure it worked. Well, if we just give God's promises, give God promises on healing the same credibility we give the medicines developed by medicine science. God's, God, God's word is better than scientists, but we still, you know, we, 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 we go and getting these shots for the pandemic. But God's word really is, as my, as my pastor says, where's your faith? Well, he gave me a measure of faith, but sometimes we, we don't want to take God's word. I, I take his word and I don't take it for granted because even though I got my shots and things, I still go to the word. I know that he's a healer and I know that I shall live and not die. I know that I am healed by the stripes of Jesus, First uh, Peter 2, 24. I, I know all that. and But I, you know what? I don't know who's around me. I don't know who's spitting on me. I don't know who's talking and is coming out. I'm protecting myself with the word of God. And I'm protecting myself that I don't have to be hooked up with needles and stuff because you don't have your mask on. Duh. Now, I do believe they're going to make it mandatory. Yay. To wear a mask. Because some people, you know, they if they don't want to, I'm not judging nobody. You don't want to, you don't want to get your shots and stuff. Wear your mask. Protect, protect those who are around you, especially the elderly. Protect your grandmother, your grandfather. Protect your children. That's all I'm saying. I don't care what you do. I'm just telling you how to do it as far as being safe. Being safe. But you, okay, you know what I just said? Be you. Be, mm, I, I, hey, be you. I can do TikTok, okay? Be, I don't even like TikTok. I don't even know what it means. But I know that TikTok, I can make my own song. Be you. Be you. And say bye. Say bye. You know, they keep the same beat and everything. 
Okay, y'all can stop laughing. I know, I, but I, I know that the, 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 word, the word of God works if you work it. And so it says here, um, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes. God's promises on healing, the same credibility we give the medicines developed by uh, med blah, blah, medical science, we would have a hundred uh, times the results. And it says here, now, I'm not against me medical doctors. In fact, I have several doctors in my close family. Thank God for doctors. They keep people alive until back those people discovered there is a better way. The better way is Jesus, Jesus. That's the better way. The, the, you take, take God's medicine. Tell, tell God every day, thank you, thank you that you took care of us too. See, people, for, they don't think anymore that Jesus died 2,000 years ago. They don't even think about that anymore. They don't, they're not appreciative. I thank God, as much as I remember, you know, that thank him for dying on that cross. Thank him for carrying that cross. Thank you for the blood that he went through to heal us. I, I, don't, I don't ask him to come back and heal me, because he's not going to do that. I, I just thank him every day. Lord, thank you for a sound mind. Thank you, Father God, for my mind working. Thank you, Father Jesus, that you opened up my ears, and I can smell, and I my, my, my uh, esophagus is open, and thank you that I can see and walk and talk. I mean, I thank him every day, because if I don't, then what scientist you know is going to let me in the office to sit there and see what he's doing and test his medicine? Ain't happening. Check it out. Ain't happening. And I don't want to do it. I want the medicine that heals me from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. And that's the blood of Jesus, too thousand years ago yay I, i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm good now i'm against i'm he says i'm not against medicine okay thank god for doctors they keep people alive until those people discover there is a better way god's word may be medicine to all our flesh there's a but but just like other medicine, we have to take it. And I take God's medicine every day. I thank him for the blood, the, what he did on that cross for me. See, I can't say what he did for y'all because if you ain't saying it, well, whoa, whoa, I say it every day. I ain't shame and just show sure enough ain't scared of nobody when it comes to the blood of Jesus. He's done everything for me. There's nothing that he has not done for me. What it is, is I might not have already received it. You know, I, I, I might wait at, to the last minute to say thank you. That should not be. But that, that happens. We, we forget. We get so busy being about somebody else's business instead of about our own business and being about Jesus' business. That's what, because he's the only one that don't care about us being about his business. He wants us to be about his business. And that's what I like. He ain't saying, look, I'm tired of you talking all the time. I'm tired of you saying what I, he wants us to thank him. He, he wants us to receive what he did on that. He didn't do that in vain. He wants us to get it together so that we can share it. We people will say, well, well, how come how come this is happening to you? And and this you you, you so you so you know full of laughter and, and love and peace and joy. And I the, because of the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Because of the blood of Jesus, I can walk around here with my head up and and I don't have to uh, hmm, I don't have to fret. I don't have to worry. I don't have to be concerned about anything because Jesus 
took care of everything. We just don't want to go and find out what's going on in our lives because you're afraid. Why are you afraid of Jesus? He's the one that healed you. He's the one that woke you up this morning. He's the one that planted your feet, <clears throat> planted your feet on solid ground. He's the one, hallelujah, glory to the Boshanda. Glory to God, hallelujah. He opened up your eyes to see a, a new day, new mercy. He's the one that blessed you with that all that grace, unmerited favor. He's the one that's given, gave you life. He's the one that created us in his image. And he said, everything that I made, I made good. Let me tell you about my Jesus. Let me tell you about my brother, Jesus. Let me tell you about his daddy, his, the father, the son, and the Holy Ghost. All of these are helpers. Am I talking too fast? I might be talking too fast. I might be really, because I'm excited. I'm excited to tell you. Uh, you I mean, I understand about people. We get so many things and we're doing so many things. People call me up, want me to do this, want me to do that, want me to go over there, want me to come here. No. It's not benefiting me anything. It's getting me in trouble. Okay, I'm going to keep it real. I, sometimes I, I get in trouble. I, I do, this, do the wrong thing. I say the wrong thing. Gets me in trouble. I have to keep a sound mind. I, I, I have to say, God, what do you want me to do? Whew. Help me, Holy Ghost, because I, I don't know what he wants me to do. Uh, 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 calm me. I got to calm down, you know. Because I, I need to hear I, my heart, my ears. I need to hear what 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 Jesus wants me to do. I got to get into the Word to find out. Oh yeah, I got to get into the Word to know what He wants me to do. So He says, if we just put it on the shelf and look at it, it won't do us any good. We have to take the medicine. A lot of people, you know, you get all this medicine from the doctors. And that's what you do. You put it on the shelf. You don't take your medicine. Well, now you don't have to have the medicine in the bottle. All you need is the blood, the blood of Jesus. All you need to do is to thank him for dying for you healing your body see we and i did i did i did I, I did let i let the enemy you know cut all on me and 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 remove certain things on me i did instead of just standing still and know that he's god i just should have stood still and, and know that God healed me and that I didn't need certain parts removed. But you know what? They got removed. I'm not going to be boohooing and crying about it. And I'm sure enough not going to be uh, 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 chewing on toilet paper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, thank you. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still happy. I'm smiling. I got makeup on because I want to look good in the mirror. I want to pat myself on the back and say, girl, you got that makeup on and, 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 and be a happy camper in front of you. And, and it's all, it's not fake. It's, uh, it's genuine. But when I tell you that I love you or give you a hug, I mean it because I don't have to touch you at all, but I want to do what Jesus did. He said, love one another. Most of all, love myself, and I love me some me. So I'm trying to tell you, you got to love yourself. You got to get in that mirror, and you just got to let people around you know that you, you don't want to cuss them out all the time. You, you want to love on them, and that's what a lot of people want to cuss, cuss, cuss. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I, yeah, sure, I got 
uh, 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 issues, but I, but I'm not going to call my, my God in and his name in vain. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Don't want to do it. I, I want him to give me all I can get. But that's what he told me, ask. You have not because you ask not. So I be asking, help, 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 help me, help me. I thank you for my arms being healed. I, I thank you that I can walk around in my home and, and, and okay, somebody got a decision right now. I'll say, get your new home, get your new home. Me personally, I didn't want no steps. I didn't want no basement. And I thank God every day that I didn't have any steps and no basement. I, because I, I don't want to go down there in the dark. And I don't want uh, my children falling down the, the steps. I, I, I want to be safe. I know people like steps. I just don't. But I'm grateful that I did not. I listened to God because when they were, when I was looking for a home, I kept saying, I don't want any steps. I don't want a basement. And every home that that realtor took me to had steps and it had basements. And I said, what part of this you don't understand? And so finally, he got me the perfect home. So that that's a, that's healing that's healing i can move about i can walk through i can i can do i can do my steps and i ain't got to worry about steps i can do my steps i can go through the whole house and do my steps that's fun get put it on your phone steps hallelujah thank you father for that moment God's word may be medicine to all your flesh, but just like other medicine, we have to take it. If we just put it on the shelf and look at it, it won't do us any good. How do we take God's medicine? We hear it and hear it and hear it. Faith comes by hearing, by the word of God. Romans 10, 17 says, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. When we take, when we, when, 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 blah, when we take the time to continually hear God's word, mm -hmm. our faith hooks up and releases God's power. And we rise up healed. And, and, and I, I know that's real. I know it's true. I trust God's word. I'm going to give up on people before I give up on God's word. Hallelujah. I, I thank God. I thank God for blessing me to know better. You know, to, to, to know that the word comes first and not people, not words that they say, but God's word works. And guess what? I work it. I work his word. I mean, I work it. I mean, I, oh, come on now. We all, I don't have any business getting tired because he gives me energy. But I sometimes I get busy doing Sometimes, most of the time, I look at it and I said, Ooh, I've been busy all day and I ain't done nothing. Anybody been there? Yeah, look, I'm supposed to sweep the kitchen or make up the bed. I ain't done nothing. I just want to sit around. I just want to chill out. So I, I, I'm just letting you know that God's word is good. And it does everything that he said it would do. Amen. Amen. So, yes, I take his medicine. And then I got here that um, God's word has the power to effect healing in, in our bodies. I hear the word 
you got to hear the word. If I got to hear, you got to hear. I hear the word and faith rises in me. If you and you you you're hearing the word because I read the scripture. So it says here, um, well, I have the word and faith rises up in me and faith rises up in you because you hearing the word of God and that's what calms you down. That's how that's how you get away from the anxiety and concern. They ain't nowhere in the Bible tell you to be concerned about a situation. Don't be concerned. Give it to Jesus. Cast it back on Jesus. He said he took care of us. So cast it back on him. You can't fix it. He he already done fixed it for you. You going around crying and boo-hooing and, and not getting into the word when he's building your faith up just because I'm talking to you, just because I'm reading this word. Uh, faith rises up in you because I'm reading the word. So you take what I'm saying and you say, thank you. My faith is being built up because Donna Jones is reading the word of God to me. Duh. Hallelujah. I can read the word to you because the word works if you're working and I'm working and now you take it and you work it. That's all you got to remember is, Lord, I know that I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. Stop talking about your you know what people take the word and they make a, a organ organ recital out of it. This hurt, that bone hurt, that leg hurt. That's an organ recital. Stop saying that. Stop talking about sickness. Because all you do is stir up Satan. And Satan says, oh, she ain't saying the word. He ain't saying the word. They didn't teach to pick the kids the word. So everybody got a recital. You need to curse it to the root. All that. Okay. 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 So I got a little carried away. Curse it to the root. So and, and say, uh -uh, I'm tired because I'm not going to be sick. I'm healed. I'm healed. Say, I'm healed every day. Say, I'm healed now while you're listening. I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. I am healed by the blood of Jesus. Amen. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. And faith rises up. Releasing God's power and producing what you need. You know what you need. You know, and 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 I and I, I love the I love the word of God. I, I should have put my um Bible on this table, but I didn't put my Bible on this. I was looking for a particular scripture and I didn't put it on here. Oh, this will work. This will work. Matthew 25, 35 to 30. I read it earlier. See, listen to this. Listen to this. This this is what the world does. And God hears them. For I was hungry. And you, God, gave me something to eat. I was thirsty. And you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger. And you invited me in. I needed clothes. And you clothed me. Isn't that awesome? That is so awesome. So see, he's already prepared everything. The table has been prepared. And it's full of whatever you want. I'm telling you, the word of God works. And a lot of times, like, like, just like I'm doing now, I'm, I'm speaking the word. But a lot of people don't go for what I'm saying. Because, see, I don't, I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm giving you God's word. Because my opinion, check. If my opinion don't work for me, I can't give it to you because it ain't going to work for you. Everybody want to get everybody's opinion. What do you think about that? 
what do you think about and at what and what about them thinking what about that you need a direct answer to your problem and the only person that got the direct answer is my god that took care of whatever you're going through how mad sad and mad you are he's already fixed it for you two thousand years ago he's done whatever you're going through i don't care if it's domestic i don't care if it's fighting I don't care if it's cussing each other out, throwing blows. He took that away. And all you got to do is say, Bob, thank you that this person will not hurt me because you died that I would be safe. The blood of Jesus is on my doorpost. The blood of Jesus, take some, if you ain't got no oil, Go get some lotion and put it on and, and lay hands on your couch, lay hands on your table, lay hands on the doorknob and say, thank you for the blood, the blood, the blood 2000 years ago. Lay hands in the bedroom, lay hands in the bathroom, lay hands when you get in and out of your car. Take that oil until you. You ain't got to get no blessed all. Just bless your house and just say the blood of blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Just bless your house. Father, I thank you for this home. Father, I thank you for this apartment. Father, I thank you for this car. Father, I thank you for a pair of socks. Father, I thank you for a pair of shoes. Father, I thank you for a glass of water. Father, I thank you for a coat. Winter's coming. Father, I thank you for gloves. Lord, I thank you for uh, dying on the cross. If somebody is furnishing uh, a pair of boots for, for my, me and my family and, 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 and food on my table, Father God. That's what Restoration Urban Ministry does. They, 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 they are preparing for you. They, 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 they feed the hungry, they clothe those that don't have clothes. They got apartments for those who don't have a place to stay. Most of all, they got the word of God. Everybody there, we minister the word. We, we tell you what the word says. We fill you up and make you strong because of the word of God. We want you to be strong that you can take care of yourself and your children. We, we do that. We do counseling if you need counseling. I said if you need counseling. If you need a job, we can lead you to a job or uh, uh, to a doctor or uh, and we got so much going on, but it's only because of Jesus. Sometimes we need help with our attitude. We got a bad, 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 bad attitude. Some of us got a bad attitude. No, I'm cleaning myself up. <laughs> yeah, I got, you know, sometimes I, I get, you know, I get worked up and I'm ready. I, I don't curse, but I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to fight with my mouth. And I, I, I try to keep it clean, but I mean I don't curse, but it's it's my rapport, my attitude. It's be doing my body's not reacting to what i'm reading to you sometimes but i thank god i thank god that he's helping me and, and see god healed me from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet
It said here, if you abide in me and my word abides in you, you shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you, John 15, 7. You, you, you gotta ask. You, you, you gotta ask what you will. Yeah, you, you, you tell him, Lord, Lord, my stove ain't working. Send labor. Send labor that somebody will come by here and fix my stove. Send labor because my family, we hungry. Call Restoration Urban Ministry. 217-355-2662 if you need help. Again, 217-355-2662. And we are help because God, we are the labor that's going to help come and help you. I tell people, send the labor, send the labor to go here, send the labor. Lord, you got, you got, you, 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 you got servants everywhere. You got lab, labor, lay labor everywhere, all over the world, all over the countries, all over the nations to go and help somebody. I can't get to them countries and them nations, but, but you got laborers out there. You, you got, you, 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 you got a team out there. You got a team to, to help us, to give them blankets and gloves, give them a place to stay. They got it too. They got it too. See, my God supplies all our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Yes. See, he supplied all this. And all we had to do was go pick it up. Because we are the labor, so we bring it to you. Yes, yeah, sometimes people, you know, they don't get what they want. You know, because some people are so particular about this and particular about that. But you're missing out on God's will. You're missing out on what he's provided for you. You're, you're, you're missing out. You're missing out. And, and we sometimes, it's got to be this way, this way, this way. And you miss out. You miss out. Yeah, you really do. And, and I love giving. I love talking about giving. But I want everybody to know Jesus. I, I want to get people in the situation or in the position to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. I am telling you, you have no clue how happy my husband and I are. 50 years of marriage. I am so happy because Jesus helped us. We didn't do this on our own. We got into the word of God and find, found out. He talks about husbands. He talks about wives. He talks about how to handle your children. Stop beating on them and cursing them out and slapping them. Stop that. Lay hands on them and get a, a scripture, a healing. Train your child up in the way that they should go. Lay hands on them and pray for them. When I say lay hands, I didn't say beat them. I didn't say whip them. Lay, anoint them with oil. You ain't got no oil, lotion, water, whatever. And just say, bless my children. Bless my children. They need to smile. Bless my children that they have fresh water and food. 
Oh, it don't matter if it's peanut butter and jelly. I love peanut butter and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. The station going to put me off. <laughs> But y'all need y'all remember that song, Peanut Butter? Okay. Okay, no, the station is gonna put me off. But that's okay. I tried. They can laugh if they want to, but I'm really, really trying to get your attention. I'm tr- working on I'm working on you smiling. I'm working on you getting a hold and saying, Miss Donna, come to Restoration Urban Ministries on Bradley and Park Park Parkland Court. And come to the church and see how much fun that we have in Jesus. I'm telling you, ain't no, you ain't got to, you know, cover up, but come as you are. And it's getting cold. Have a coat and some boots on and a hat and some gloves. And if you don't have it, come through Monday, Tuesday, and we close on Wednesday, come Thursday and Friday. Hallelujah. I'm teaching you, teaching you something. Restoration Urban Ministries. We we supply to people that's in need. You might need a cup. Just you, you might not need nothing but a coffee cup to make you some coffee. You see, you see this cup, coffee cup. We got that too. Amen to the man. I, I, I'm just letting you know. We got that. Somebody might need a pair of glasses. We got that. This is the God that I serve. And I'm, I'm introducing you to my daddy. I'm, in, I'm, I'm introducing you to my brother Jesus. I'm introducing you to the Holy Spirit because everybody on this earth needs God, needs Jesus, needs the Holy Spirit. Read about that in the book of Acts chapter two, the Holy Spirit, read about it. Your help. Mm -hmm. I'm just providing the word to you. I just want you to know that's just how good God is. I thank you for my lights. I thank you for my precious, precious children. I do. I got some beautiful, 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 beautiful children. We all got issues. And if they got any issues, I bind them, rebuke them, and curse them to the root, just like I bind them and rebuke them and curse them to the root in me. I I bind them, rebuke them, and curse them in my husband. I mean, we got issues. We got to clean some things up because we got to continue to love on each other. I'm 72, and I feel like I'm 18. But I did turn my 72 around, and I'm 27 years old. Okay, duh. That's how I act. That's how I, I like. I, I, I got all kind of energy. Only because he gave it to me. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I take what's on the inside of me, which is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, than that devil that's out there in the world. I'm in the world, but not of the world. Okay, did y'all catch on to that? I'm in the world, but not of the world. That's how come I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. People want to say, and, and then they say, Donna, tell, tell, tell. I said, I don't like telling about me, but I'll tell it in the sense of if it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? I'd probably be dead. But because I serve the most high, I'm healed. I shall live and not die. I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. And that's how I can make it through. That's how I can walk past my kids when they, oh, oh yeah, 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 they got a mouth on them. I walk on by, walk on by. Okay, Woo, I got Motown spirit today. Anyway, <laughs> and I just walk by. I, I ain't got to entertain that. They grown, they can say what they want to say, but 
not in my house. Not in my house. You can't say what you want to say. You're going to keep your mouth clean. And when you want to say something crazy, go on the outside of my door. Go on the outside of my home. Because, see, I got to keep my sanity. I got to keep my body here by the stripes of Jesus. I don't have time for the dumb stuff. Okay? Okay. You can't say, uh, okay. Okay, somebody like that. I know somebody like that. Okay, listen. Uh, I, I I don't I, I don't have to hear that. So I want to keep my heart popping. You know, I want the blood to keep going through where it's supposed to go through my body. I, I and so I I don't want to be my heart palpitating because you saying some dumb stuff. See, Satan can't. I I don't want Satan in my home. I'll ask you to leave so you can clean your mouth. Can't clean your mouth? Stay out. Everybody can't do that, but I can. Bye. As my daughter says, bye-bye. That's what that's what that, that's what we do. That's how we handle it. Bye-bye. Cause you're not gonna bring the devil in my house. I got enough things going on. I'm not cursing them. I gotta curse them every day. All day. Curse that devil to the root. People don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Well, what goes on behind closed doors is I'm binding and rebuking Satan to get out of my home. Because I need to keep the healing scriptures before my eyes. That's why. So. First thing is hearing the word of God, and then after you hear it, you got to believe it. You got to believe it. Romans 10, 13, 14. And then I'll be done in two minutes. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is salvation. How then? Shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? I just got to preaching to you about the word of God. Hallelujah. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So you you heard that. Now you got to believe it. Now the believing is on you. I said it. Now you got to believe. You got to believe. Amen. Again, I loved it. I thank you for today. And I know they're not, they're not going to put this out on the, <clears throat> to the champagne area today. I wish they did. But I, if somebody get this message four o'clock today at Westside Park from four to seven, they're giving they're serving chili. They're gonna there's gonna be speakers, but it's gonna be from four to seven. I'm Donna Jones, and this is be you say bye to anything that's not like God. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Bye.